Hi Carl, welcome to your free website review video. So the first thing we do is check the mobile page speed and obviously mobile responsiveness of the site. And we use uh, Google's own tool for this. So basically, I've run the report. You can do this yourself as well. Um, Testmysite.withgoogle.com And it's coming up as 11 seconds loading time, which is classed as poor. Um, and Google estimate that you're probably losing 30% of the people that are actually clicking on your site from the search engines because obviously they, they, they just won't wait 10 or 11 seconds for it to load and they'll get fed up. Um, obviously there, there have been studies done on thousands of websites. You know, they, they have all the information and the data to be able to give us um, this accurate uh, figure. So that's the first thing that I would, uh, that I would address the easiest thing and it's uh, obviously not you know not an expensive thing to address I can't actually understand um, how they've how the previous developers have, have caught that up that much because the home page is just you know an image with three buttons you know there's nothing to it it should literally load straight away my guess is that this image here in the background as it hasn't been compressed correctly which you know is web design 101 really your images need to need to be compressed um, you know without losing the quality to, to low quick so not quite sure what's happened there but it is easily rectified uh, and you are on WordPress so there are uh, there are actually free plugins that we can use to uh, to speed the site up in terms of the JavaScript and the the way it loads the code in the background as well and um, by using you know using a cache plugin and things like that so that's the first thing. Second thing we check is the security, um, which is just basically you need an SSL certificate um, because Google are uh, rolling out an update, uh, update 68, where they're going to start showing here. It's going to say not, it's actually going to, obviously it says there your connection is, is not secure, but it is actually going to start saying it next to the domain in red letters I'll just show you um, one of our clients what it should look like you'll see how quick their site loads and this is a full obviously e-commerce website thousands of products um, so as you can see they're secure and it's you know it's really important that that gets addressed too because they're gonna start showing it in the search engines as well so if someone searched for uh, Marquis, let's just say Preston, and say your site came up here, you know, with the comp competitors, it's going to start showing secure and not secure. So, obviously, you know, people are going to visit the, the secure website, so that's uh, that's why that's important. Next thing is the GDPR uh, policies and cookie pop-up box your site isn't compliant at the minute so basically you need one of these boxes here that pops up and people can accept the cookies and you also need the correct policies so terms privacy policy cookie policy as well we do have all of those policies and we can obviously customize them for your website uh, so if you need help with that feel free to get in touch and we can help you with that Next point is conversion optimization. Now, this is um, my favorite area, and it's basically, you know, improving websites to convert um, better. So there are a number of ways you can do this. Um, you don't have to do them all, uh, but what I would suggest is, I'll suggest five of the, the ones that I think are very important, and ones that I know that work as well. You know, so you're not wasting money on, you know, implementing things that are not going to, uh, you know, get you a, a better conversion. So, you know, a better return on, on investment for any changes that you may have done. Um, so basically, live chat facility on the website. Um, so you, we can install that where, you know, if you've got a member of staff that can man that in the day. Um, we've seen, you know, conversions increase by up to 50, 60, 70 percent in some cases. Um, just by having a live chat facility because if they've got a question and they can't, you know, they're in a rush and they can't be bothered, you know, looking around the website. Um, I, I mean, you, 
you don't have a frequently asked questions page anyway. Um, but when people visit your websites, usually they, they, they've got a couple of questions in mind uh, and they're able to ask straight away. And then obviously the person on the live chat facility is able to close that client in real time as well. The next one is some social proof. So Facebook, Google reviews. I can see you've got testimonials on here, but these are just, you know, these are not good enough these days. Um, people don't trust them. Um, and obviously you could do with a few more as well. I'll just show you what I mean by social proof testimonials. So mine, mine actually pull in from my Facebook page. Um, you'll have to excuse it being quite slow. It's because I'm just recording a video. Um, but as you can see, these are real life reviews from Facebook. They're able to actually click through to my Facebook page. So obviously I get more likes and stuff like that as well. Um, not sure if you, you're utilizing Facebook. I've not actually checked, but if you're not, it is very good for, for this kind of business. Um, the next area is <coughs> lead magnets. So basically when someone visits the site, um, a pop-up box can appear. Now you might not like the idea of that. You might think it annoys people, but people can, you know, it doesn't have to be massive. It can just be a small one at the top that just says, uh, enter your email address to receive our free guide or you know something along those lines or you can even if you really want to get technical you can do like a calculator you know if someone's having a party maybe and they want to figure out how big the marquee needs to be for a certain number of guests you know that would be a really good interactive tool on the website that that will then collect email addresses and you should be doing that you know, every day, every person visiting the site, you should be trying to collect their email address because then obviously you can <coughs> remarket to them uh, in the future. And if you get a new product or service, you're able to obviously remarket that as well. Um, I am just touching on these subjects like very briefly that, you know, we are able to go into a lot more detail on the marketing side of things. Um, if you do want to uh, arrange <coughs> a call to do that. Um, so that's the conversion optimization. They're just, you know, three, four of the ones that I recommend that are not expensive to implement, um, you know, and can, you know, drastically see an improvement in the conversions. The next one is video. You know, instead of having static images, you know, a video, maybe, you know, a time-lapse video of one of the marquees being built. Or even, you know, even just um, some stock video of inside a marquee, you know, we, we can... We can get that very cheaply and it looks professional. It doesn't look cheesy. Although it is stock imagery, uh, stock, you know, uh, footage, you know, none of your clients will be none the wiser, to be fair. Uh, and we're able to knock up, you know, a nice, a nice professional video for the website, you know, um, for around £200. Um, so that's, you know, something maybe to think about. Um, now the next one is... A little bit more advanced and it's um, a company called Albacross. Now, this is nothing to do with us. We don't, you know, we don't actually have any involvement with this company, but we do recommend them because we know it's um, it's an absolutely amazing tool that you can use. And basically, if someone visits your website but clicks straight off it, um, it still collects their IP address. It finds out, you know, who they are. If they're from a company, it'll, it'll, you'll be able to get that information. Uh, and then you're able to obviously contact them and ask them, you know, we notice you visited our website, um, you notice you clicked off it, you know, it, we're always trying to improve our website, is there any, is, is there a reason why you clicked off it and things like that? And obviously getting that feedback is, um, you know, it's amazing and can, can give you some really, really good feedback to then be able to update the website accordingly. They might have just been busy and they've clicked off and obviously... If they have done that, you're able to get in touch with them, send them information about your company, send them some testimonials, some brochures and, what, and whatnot, and obviously you're going to convert more clients that way as well. Um, I don't think it's, um, not I don't think, I know it's not, you can try this out for free and it's not expensive to obviously keep, keep it going either. So I definitely recommend, you know, having a look at that. Or if you want us to install it on the site and have a look at it for you, we can do that as well for a, for a small fee. Um, the next one is Hotjar. Now, I really, really love this tool because this can um, really give us an insight into 
the behavior of people when they land on the website and where they're obviously moving their mouse, where they're spending time uh, looking and um, basically we can see the information that they're taking in, the buttons that they're clicking and we can get a really good sense of the user experience that you're providing. Um, you know, without trial and error in in websites, you know, because obviously your website is a, ve a very nice website. Um, it's nice, clean, professional. And, you know, the information is all there. And we may, we may think, you know, it's all the information is laid out correctly and in the right order. But I've seen, I've seen the hot jar work in a way where we've totally, you know, we, we've just got it totally wrong with the design because say, say this event section, um, we meet, we, obviously we've put it further down, or you've put it further down the page. Um, but if this was a section that was being highlighted a lot more than say, you know, the text, for instance, because we've, it is, it is known now that people do kind of look for images and video before they start reading, you know, long form text. And just by moving this section up to the top of the page, um, shows, you know, showed a, a huge, a huge, um, kind of difference in between people making an inquiry from that page. And without Hotjar, obviously, we w we just wouldn't know that information. So, again, it is a little bit more advanced. And these are kind of things that we, you know, would need to implement on the site and monitor for you. Again, because I do work from a home studio, um, you know, my prices are not agency prices. I don't have any overheads. So all of the things I've mentioned um, in this video are... Um, you know, competitively priced. So if you want any help with anything or if you want some more information or, you know, just a ch chat on the phone, please feel free to get in touch. Um, I think you'll obviously, you'll already know my website now. Uh, it's onewebdesignberry.co.uk. If you, if you Google web design berry or website design berry or anything like that, you'll see that I'm, uh, I'm at number one. So you'll be able to find me there. Um, and obviously we can, we do, we can help with SEO. These videos are really just to review the websites, to do an SEO review, a complete SEO review, as in a, you know, a, a, an hour long kind of video um, with a report. Obviously there is a cost for that. Um, so if you, if you do want us to look at the SEO, then we can do that, but you'd have to uh, obviously get back in touch with us. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm rambling on, so I'm going to, going to leave you with that and hopefully um, you found it quite uh, informative and I'll hopefully hear from you soon. Cheers mate.